To get started, make a slip knot. Chain 11. After chaining 11, we are going to work one treble crochet in the very first chain. To work a treble crochet, yarn over two times, insert your hook in that first chain, and then pull through the yarn. You have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through the next two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. That is a treble crochet. To work row two, chain 11. After chaining 11, turn your work and then skip three chains, one, two, three, and place one single crochet in the next chain. Then you are going to place a stitch marker in this very first space. Chain seven. Seven. And then to finish off the row, we are going to skip three chains and work one treble crochet in the next chain. So yarn over two times, skip three chains, one, two, three. Insert your hook in the next chain, pull through your yarn, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. So row 2 is done. To work row 3, chain 11. And for every row, we always start with a chain 11. So chain 11. And then turn your work. Skip 3 chains. 1, 2, 3. Place one single crochet in the next chain. And always place a stitch marker in that very first space after that chain seven and then go in the next space skip three chains of that next space one two three and place one single crochet in the next chain To finish off the row, you are going to chain 7. After chaining 7, take out the stitch marker. Then skip 3 chains, 1, 2, 3, and place 1 treble crochet in the next chain. To work row 4, you are going to repeat row 3. Again, start off with a chain 11. And then turn your work. Skip 3 chains of that first space. 1, 2, 3. Place a single crochet in the next chain. And then, as always, place a stitch marker in this very first space. After that, chain 7. Go in the next space and skip 3 chains. 1, 2, 3. Place a single crochet in the next chain. Again, chain 7. Go in the next space. Skip 3 chains. 1, 2, 3 single crochet in the next chain at this point we have worked one single crochet in the last space so the stitch marker helps to indicate the last space after working one single crochet in the last space to finish off the row you are going to chain seven and then take out the stitch marker after that, 
you are going to skip three chains one two three and place a treble crochet in the next chain all right so now we are done with row four and as you can see as we work each row the space increases by one so we started with one space then two spaces then three and the last one we have four spaces all right you are going to repeat the same pattern until you get the size of bandana that you prefer i am going to work one more row with you all right so to work row five you're going to start off with a chain 11 as always and then turn your work skip three chains of the very first space one two three insert a single crochet in the next chain and then place a stitch marker in that first space after that chain seven go in the next space skip three chains one two three place a single crochet in the next chain again chain seven then go in the next space skip three chains one two three place a single crochet in the next chain we have one space left so you are going to chain seven go in the last space skip three chains one two three single crochet in the next chain since this is the last space to finish off the row you're going to chain seven then take out the stitch marker skip three chains of that same last space one two three and work a treble crochet in the next chain okay there you go so all you have to do from here is repeat row five just repeat the pattern continuously until you get to the size of bandana that you prefer this is what i have so far i have worked a total of 15 rows 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 all right the width of my bandana is about 15 inches and from bottom to top measures about 8.5 or 9 inches okay next up we are going to work the tie to work your tie you are going to make chains according to how long you want your tie to be for me i will work 50 chains after working your chains place one single crochet in the second chain from the hook place one single crochet in the next chain and continue to place one single crochet in each chain across until you get to the last chain after working single crochet across the tie next up we are going to work across the top of the bandana after placing single crochet in the last chain you are going to place one single crochet in this very first stitch and then place four single crochets in this very first space so place four single crochets that's one two three and four after that place one single crochet in the next single crochet stitch then place four single crochets in the next space And then place one single crochet in the next single crochet stitch okay so continue to place four single crochet in the space one single crochet in the stitch for single crochet in the space one single crochet in the stitch repeat that all the way across until you get to your last single crochet stitch before your last space
after placing one single crochet in this last single crochet stitch you are going to take off your stitch marker and place five single crochets in the last space And then you are going to make the same number of chains that you made for your first tie. So I made 50 chains. So go ahead and make the same number of chains and then single crochet all the way down until this first chain. Now that we are done with the second tie, we are going to work an aging down the side of the bandana and then upwards. All right. So let's do that. After placing one single crochet in the last chain of your tie, turn to the side of your bandana and then place two single crochets in this very first space. After that, work a picot stitch. To work a picot stitch, chain three. And then slip stitch in the very first chain right here okay so this is a picot stitch after that place two single crochets in the next two spaces two single crochets here two single crochets here And then work another picot stitch. So chain three and slip stitch in the very first chain. After that, place two single crochets in each of the next two spaces. And then work another picot stitch. So after the picot stitch, you're going to place two single crochets in the next two spaces, then work a picot stitch, place two single crochets in the next two spaces, work a picot stitch, repeat that all the way across until you get to your last space. I have just one space left. So we are going to place three single crochets in this last space. Then work a picot stitch. After that, turn to the other side of your bandana and place three single crochets in this same space. After that, place two single crochets in the next space and then work a picot stitch. Then place two single crochets in the next two spaces. So place two single crochets in the first space. Place two single crochets in the next space and then work a picot stitch. After the picot stitch, place two single crochets in the next two spaces, then work a picot stitch, place two single crochets in the next two spaces, work a picot stitch, and repeat that all the way across until you get to your last space. I have just one space left. After my picot stitch, I will place two single crochets in this last space. And then after that, you are going to slip stitch in this first chain of your tie. So right here, place a slip stitch. And then chain one and fasten off.
now that we are done with the bandana you are going to go ahead and give your stitches a little tug to loosen it up okay and then sew in your loose ends thank you so much for watching i hope this tutorial was helpful i will see you in my next one bye